Hello, it's Craig Howard again. Happy to be with you. Um, last week before Christmas. Hope you're excited. I, uh, our family is going to have our gift exchange this Wednesday because my daughter's in and she has to leave on Thursday and won't be here Christmas and my son and, and daughter-in-law may not be able to be here on Christmas and so we're going to do it Wednesday night and I'm excited about that. What I'm not is prepared. <laughs> I don't have all my shopping done that I need to have done. And, uh, you know, sometimes Christmas catches us unprepared, doesn't it? Uh, we try to get prepared with our decorations. We try to get prepared with uh, our shopping. And we try to get prepared with our meals that we're going to have and all the stuff that, that goes on at Christmas time. But oftentimes we catch ourselves unprepared. Got me to thinking about how sometimes we're not very prepared spiritually as well. When you read the story as Matthew recorded it, part of the Christmas story, uh, in Matthew chapter 2, beginning in verse 1, it says, Now after Jesus was born, granted this took place after His birth, now after Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea in the days of Herod the king, behold, wise men from the east came to Jerusalem, saying, Where is he who has been born king of the Jews? For we have seen his star in the east and have come to worship him. They were prepared. They were ready. They knew that there was a Messiah coming. They had been looking for him for years. They were ready to, to meet him. They were ready to find him. These guys were prepared. They were the picture of what we should be spiritually. When Herod, the king, heard this, he was troubled and all Jerusalem with him. He wasn't prepared for the coming Messiah. He wasn't prepared for what God wanted to do in his life. He wasn't prepared for this King Jesus to come. And so he was upset. He was troubled. And that's what happens when we're not prepared, isn't it? My question to you this morning, or today, depending on when you're watching this, my question is... Are you prepared? Are you prepared to meet Jesus? I know that's not something we like to think about, but the truth is none of us knows if we have tomorrow. This may be the last video I'll ever do. We don't know. None of us knows if we have tomorrow, and none of us knows what God may have in store for us today. None of us knows how God may call on us to step up and be a witness for Him or step up and meet a need in somebody's life or step up and be His hands and feet in that day. None of us really knows what God's going to ask us to do today or be today. The question is, are you spiritually prepared? Are you spiritually ready to be what God is going to call, what He's going to ask of you today? And if not, maybe you ought to take a few minutes when this video finishes and just say, Lord, I want to be prepared for whatever you have in store for me today. I want to be your hands and feet if that's what I'm called to be. I want to be whatever you need me to be. Whether you're prepared for Christmas or not, you can be prepared for what God has in store for you today. That's between you and Him. Hope you have a great day today, and I hope your day is filled with all of the preparation that you need and all the things that you need to do to get prepared for whatever God has in store for you. You have a great day today, and I pray God bless you.